I know I am so late to the game here, but I am finally revealing my Sew My Style make for February. If you've been keeping up, then you know that last month we were able to choose between the Ilford Jacket by Friday Pattern Company and the Summit Backpack by Cloud Splitter Bags and Designs. The Ilford is a boxy jacket design that isn't really my style, so I opted for the backpack. I've actually wanted to make a bag like this for a while. I love crossbody purses and I love backpacks. So this design combines all of those for a super functional, easy to wear bag. As you know, I'm doubling the Sew My Style challenge by only using stash fabrics. And thankfully I had this super cute pineapple canvas in my stash. It is from the Charleston Collection art gallery released a couple of years ago. For the contrast, I didn't have anything suitable in my canvas and upholstery stash, so I had to dig into my heavyweight woven stash. I found this pink stretch twill in there from I don't even know what, maybe a jacket or a failed pair of pants, some garment that I don't own anymore. <laughs> Anyway, it's not a recommended fabric, but I knew it would be interfaced and the color was pretty spot on, so I went with it. For the lining, I had plenty to choose from, so I picked this fun navy print for a little pop on the inside. I really prefer bag zippers for bags. I know that might seem obvious, but you can get away with using regular garment zippers. But I just like the wider tape and the larger pull from bag zippers. Sourcing bag zippers isn't super easy as you can't really find them in a variety of colors at big box stores. I was able to find an assortment from Zipper Stop on Etsy for a pretty reasonable price. Uh, in the notes of my order, I asked them to try to include a navy one and a pink one if they could, and they did. The rest of the hardware can be found at a Joanne or Hobby Lobby. Prepping the pieces for the bag was super simple. There are a few pattern pieces that need to be taped together when you print on standard 8.5 by 11 paper, but that came together easily and quickly. Nothing even close to taping together garment patterns. Then you have to cut out a bunch of other squares and rectangles and interface everything. Again, though, it's a very straightforward process, just a little tedious. The sewing instructions were really good, I thought. There were a lot of curves to sew, and she provided some really good tips for ensuring that they set in correctly. Probably the coolest part of this pattern, though, is that the bag is sewn in a way that all of the seam allowances are completely enclosed, meaning you don't have to bind anything. You have a super clean finish on the inside, and the lining is taut and doesn't flop around or bag out on the inside. It's awesome. My only complaint is the front zipper. I really wish it were a double zip because when I unzip it all the way, everything inside wants to fall out. So I have to remember to only unzip it halfway to ensure everything stays inside. Just a matter of forming a new habit. And because I know you guys are going to ask, the leather label is from Wonder Label. I have worn my Summit backpack a ton, pretty much exclusively at Sew Expo, and it was great to have room to carry everything I needed for the entire day and remain hands-free to do all the shopping and give all the hugs. You know, back before we were social distancing and hugs were completely acceptable. <laughs> Next month's Sew My Style options are the Layla Jane Willa Vest and the Liesl & Co. Gelato Dress and Blouse. I am 99% sure I'm going to make the gelato blouse because I want more tops in my wardrobe and I have a ton of fabrics in my stash that would work great for this pattern. You can jump in and out of the Sew My Style Challenge anytime you want, so if you haven't participated yet, it's not too late to start. If you do plan on participating, which of the March patterns are you going to make? Let me know in the comments section below. But that is going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.